and probably has done as much or more work on the impact of the New Deal on the so-called Great Depression than maybe any other economist in the country. Please welcome back to the program, Professor Lee Ohanian. <laughs> Lee, thank you for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Sure, Larry. Good, 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 good to be here. So, how are you spending your time these days? Are you are you still doing classes from home? How, how do you how are you doing it? Yes, we're <clears throat> we're doing online classes. So we have a uh, we have some software apps that allow the students to. To, to log in and they they see they see me on their uh, on their computer screens and it's uh, yeah you know, it's a little bit of a challenge because it's hard to integrate the the kids into a classroom discussion but um, you know we're we're learning how to do it and um, we'll make the best of it. Do you think this is going to change how uh, you you teach students going forward? Well, I, I think there'll probably be a lot more online facilities for higher education, and I think there probably should be because higher education has just become so expensive. So mm -hmm. I think this could be a very low-cost, mm -hmm. uh, very cost-effective way of doing things. Mm -hmm. All right, Lee. Steve Schmidt, of course, is not an economist. He's a Republican strategist. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, he's uh, one of the ones that, that I, you see on, on cable who takes wax at uh, at the president. But that's really not the point. The point is this, might, this man made an assertion that FDR, quote, saved the economy. And I would I would suggest that most Americans believe that FDR saved the economy. Certainly, most Democrats believe he quote saved the economy. What's the truth? Well, yeah, uh, Larry, you're absolutely right. There, they, it was an assertion um, that Mr. Smith made. There weren't really any facts or statistics to back up that assertion. And what he was saying is really a set of talking points that come out of you know, pretty much every high school history class, uh, and again, without many statistics to back up assertions, right. that the FDR saved the economy. But the statistics are that the New Deal did not restore work to Americans. The amount of work in the marketplace that people were doing, even as late as 1938 and 1939, had risen only modestly from the very low part of the Depression, which was in 1933. So, and those are the facts. Those are the statistics that are within the U.S. economy, and they are what they are. Um, no one is disputing that, and yet you do see time and again the assertion that FDR saved the economy. I'll just make one other point, which is that the economy was beginning to turn around very vigorously before the election. In the summer of 32, things were, were looking much, much better. So FDR gets credit for doing a lot of things, but getting the economy back on track with, by getting Americans back to work, he, he actually made it worse mm -hmm. than it would have been if he hadn't done anything along those lines. My guest is economics professor uh, at UCLA, Lee Ohanian. Professor, I've written about this. I think I got this quote from you, and this is a, a quote from his uh, Treasury Secretary, Morgenthau. And he wrote in his diary, quote, We have tried spending, and after eight years of spending and spending and spending, there's as much unemployment as there was before, and enormous debt, end of quote. So that's the equivalent of... Um, of who, uh, a Geithner, uh, saying that we've done all this stuff, and wrote it in a, in, a, in, a, in a journal and said we've done all this stuff and, and the stimulus didn't work. Here he is, his Secretary of Treasury, writing in his own diary, it hasn't worked. Well, that's exactly right. And that was very similar to what happened with Obama's stimulus plan in 2009 and 2010. Jobs did not come back, despite the fact that so much federal money was spent. I mean... The U.S. debt to GDP level, so that's the the amount of publicly held federal debt uh, as a ratio to the amount of goods and services produced. That was 35 percent before President Obama took office. Mm -hmm. When he left office, it was nearly 80 percent. So we doubled the federal debt, more than double the federal debt. And yet we had really very little to show for it in terms of increased economic growth. You know, I read, uh, Leo Haney, and some of the projections that Obama's team made when they first came in. And one projection was, if we do nothing, it'll be 3%. If we do this, it'll be this. If we do all these wonderful things, we're going to have 4 4.5% 4 growth. We didn't even get 3%. So, so if they no, had done I... nothing by their own projections, they, they would have been better off. Yes, it's uh, the, those folks don't like to remember that, uh, and I know them all very, very well. Um, 
And to their credit, I think they were just really in over their head. It was a difficult situation, but they probably should have been more careful in terms of the projections they made. And I think they probably should have thought a little bit more deeply about about what to do and why they were doing it. Well, and, and, uh, Lee, I made, and Lee, I made this point before. They probably should have called you. <laughs> yeah, I was Larry. I was not. I was not called by, by the Obama team. <laughs> Professor Leo Hanian uh, teaches uh, economics at UCLA. Uh, Lee, as always, thank you very much for taking the time. We appreciate it. My pleasure, Larry. Take care, it. man.